Hello everybody and welcome to another Flutter video tutorial. So guys, today I'm going to start a brand new app which we're going to name it Weather App. So the website we are getting data from is Open Weather. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we are going to use the API. Uh, through that API, we are getting the data from this Open Weather website and we are trying to build um, an app that looks like that that it should take the city name and when we are entering the city name it will get all the weather from this website through the api and also we are trying to get the current location of the device where the user uh, is located and for that we are going to use the geolocator a package as you can see the geolocator package what it does a flutter geolocator plugin which provide easy access to platform specific location service it means that we can get the location with this geolocator package so if you are new in this channel and still not subscribed to our channel uh, you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to notify every video we post and let's start the code okay guys as you can see i created a fresh project name it flutter weather app so as you know we have the main function and also our stateless widget with the builder function inside it return the material app at home we have the scaffold and the scaffold has app bar and app bar has a title text which is the weather app so now let's go and uh, copy the geolocator package from the website which you can see here you can click here to copy that and now come back to the pubspec.yaml in here as you can see i pasted under the copertino icons and then you can click on this icon to get all the packages and after that you can use the geolocator on your app and other setting also need to do it's about the location of the device so if you want to access the location of the device we have to give it a permission so let's go to android in here let's go inside uh, the app inside the source and inside main we have our manifest you can click here in here as you can see i passed two permission number one is android permission access cross location and the other one is access find location you can also do the same write this two line code under your package name inside the manifest file so after that all the setting is done and let's go back inside the main dot dot inside the main we have now the app ready let's continue with the body adding a body and this let's give it a center widget and in its child let's give a container inside this container we have child of let's give an elevated button elevated button has on pressed so let's bring them down to see that better and this child for now on pressed we have nothing on pressed of this elevation button and on its child we give it a text of get location and let's bring the child down now our app is ready so let's create another method that uh, we can get the location by the package of geolocator so first of all we have to import the package let's import it here as you can see now i imported the package geolocator geolocator dot dot so let's use it inside the my app class let's create our get method void name it get location and inside this we are going to use the position 
position is equal to geolocator geolocator dot get current position it takes parameter desired accuracy inside the desired accuracy we going to give the location accuracy now the location accuracy dot there is number of accuracy that you want to choose so we are going to choose the high accuracy and give a semicolon at the end so as you know we are going to get the location of the device in this case we are going to use the async it should be async and await that we should wait for the uh, for getting the location so for now uh, it is done let's print the position on the console uh, print the position here and put a semicolon at the end and now all is done so let's run our app and see if all our code is working perfectly so i'm going to save it and let's run it from run and let's wait for launching so guys as you can see the application is running and here is the title bar weather app and here is our button that get location so when we are going to click on this location it should get the location and print it inside our console so for now if i click it will do nothing uh, because we didn't set anything inside the on pressed of this button so let's call our get location function uh, method inside on press of this elevated button so i'm going to remove this uh, curly bracket and the round bracket and call my function get location so now as you can see it is done let's save it uh, so now let's click on our button that uh, how it can get our location so when i clicked on this button it says that allow this flutter a uh, weather ape to access the device location so in here we have to allow this application to use the device location so as you remember that we add two lines of code inside our manifest that's why it is asking this question so let's allow our app to use the location of the device now we are allowed and let's see and now you can see guys that we got the location which is the latitude of three seven and something and the longitude of minus 122 point something so it means that we got our location and everything is working correctly so guys i hope you learned something from this video this is our first video of this weather app as you comment that i should upload video quicker in the channel in this app i'm trying to upload video daily or maybe two days of video so thank you for watching uh, if you like the video you can thumbs up and if you have any other question you can comment it below so see you guys in the next video